Hello, I am Dr. Aruna. Today my topic would be on fibroids. What are fibroids? So these are small growths that are seen within the uterus. Sometimes it can be seen outside the uterus also. There are many types of fibroids which may occur in the reproductive age group. Not all the women with the fibroid will manifest with the symptoms, but it might be an incidental finding in the ultrasonography which is done for any other reason. But many of them they present with the symptoms like menstrual disturbances that is heavy menstrual bleeding or prolonged bleeding or passage of clots or even dysmenorrhea that is pain, severe pain during the menstruation. So what to do when you find these menstrual abnormalities? The first and foremost will be the treatment given for the patient will be reducing the menstrual abnormality. The flow has to be reduced or else she will be losing most of the blood and she will become anemic. So the gynecologist will advise some tranexamic acid. If it is not responding to this tranexamic acid, generally the gynecologist will prescribe the hormonal treatment. What happens if this fibroid keeps growing? They cause severe symptoms, pressure symptoms, constipation or even the not passing of the urine and they may land up with the emergency. Sometimes these fibroids will undergo torsion and cause a severe pain. We have to check the growth of the fibroid depending upon the size either 3 monthly or 6 monthly. And depending upon the age of the patient, if she is in the reproductive age group, we can monitor the growth. There can be many multiple fibroids or they can be single fibroid. When there are multiple fibroids, it invariably causes symptoms where the treatment can be medical or a surgical depending upon the need of the patient whether she has to continue her reproductive life, she want to retain the uterus, then we give ulipristol. If she doesn't want to continue for the reproductive life and she want to get a uterus to be removed, the myomectomy can be done or a hysterectomy can be done. In case of menopause, uh, usually it's a fibroid estrogen dependent and it will reduce in size. So we monitor such a patients. So feel free to consult your gynecologist once you have these symptoms or once you find these fibroids in your ultrasonography. As SLG, we have laparoscopic myomectomy, hysterectomy that can be underwent for this patient. Thank you.